are getting Not the, the shoe swap uh, where people are learning more about the destructive I, I suppose, power uh, of the Bush Creek uh, East wildfire. Officials have provided so the first the assessment of the damage. As CTV's Isabella Zafarizi reports dozens of homes have been lost. Power lines barely standing, ash blanketing the ground. It's a somber day as the scope of the destruction from the Bush Creek East wildfire begins to emerge. This is something I would never have thought in my lifetime. Are getting the, 131 uh, right, structures are now uh, lost suppose, uh, and 37 are uh, damaged. Uh, Cook B. James so Toma and his the wife lost their home. Do. So did many others from the First Nation. We lost a lot, you know. Um, 31 houses, I think, was the, the latest uh, count of the climb. Right, uh, you know, I suppose, uh, so, um, uh, 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 the, the task the set out before us is uh, it's daunting. Thankfully, no lives were lost. Indigenous Services Canada says there are eight First Nations under evacuation orders and 14 under evacuation alerts. The Assembly of First Nations is calling for more supports from all levels of government. The regional chief with the BCAFN says for many First Nations, the rebuilding process is taking too long. Yeah, I think it, it speaks to the administrative and, and bureaucratic nightmare that many First Nations experience when uh, they're building back on, on after disaster in terms of uh, uh, getting the, uh, the funding properly to, to their communities or, or getting the uh, right, um, I, I suppose, uh, uh, the bureaucracy out of the way so, so you can do the work that you need to do.